Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to another edition of the NSC AC Presents Behind the Bench. Today, our topic of discussion will be um, the Toronto FC Academy curriculum and methodology. We have a special guest, and it's a privilege to have Anthony with us today. So, Anthony, welcome. Good afternoon. How are you today? Great. Thanks, Valera, for the invitation, and uh, welcome to all the people on the call. Thanks for being here. Perfect. So my name is Valerio Rocca, and I'm the vice president of the NSCAC. Um, today we're going to be talking about uh, the curriculum and methodology at Toronto FC. Uh, Anthony, tell us a little bit about yourself and how you uh, came into um, being the academy director at the Toronto FC. Uh, for me, it was a, a long journey, I want to say. Uh, I started as a volunteer with Toronto FC in 2009, and I just wanted to be around the environment to learn more as a young coach and to understand how things work at the professional level. Uh, and things kind of snowballed from there, and I was offered an assistant coaching position with the senior academy at the time. And I've held multiple roles within the club, uh, both on the assistant coach and, and head coaching side of multiple teams. Uh, in 2018, I transitioned to assistant academy director, and then in the summer of that year, uh, made the full transition to academy director. So it's my third year in this role. How, how are you enjoying it so far? It, it's been great. I'm, I'm very fortunate to be working with a fantastic staff, uh, specifically the, the coaches that work with us in the academy. And really what we've done is created a learning environment where all of us are doing our best to be the best versions of ourselves and to best serve the club uh, in terms of uh, what we learn and what we're able to apply. Uh, and so from that perspective, it's been great. And uh, I say I, I coach one team in the academy, which are the coaches, and uh, I'm really enjoying working with them. Um, for those of you that have any questions, we'll, we'll be more than happy to answer them throughout the presentation. Anthony uh, has a presentation with us. Uh, if you want to pose a question, please either use the chat section of the Zoom call or the Q&A section, and uh, we'll get uh, we'll try to answer as many as we can as the, the, the session goes through. Anthony, take us away. Thanks, Valerio. So I'm just going to do a, a presentation here on our curriculum and methodology. Uh, anytime I'm asked to, to speak or, or give a presentation like this, I always have a preface before I begin and say, you know, this is uh, one way of doing it. it. It's our way. It's unique to TFC, but it's certainly not the way uh, in terms of player development. And so I'm happy to share uh, what we do a little bit with the audience that we have today and certainly happy to answer any questions that you may have. So I'll start with this quote here from Michael Jordan. It's a great quote. Um, and the question at the top says, you know, what does your development program look like? And really what we're talking about here when we talk about curriculum and methodology, these are fundamental aspects of your program. And really it's used as a springboard from which your players will develop. So if those things are tight, they're sound, they're comprehensive, detailed, thought out, um, your players are only going to get better, right? But really, it comes down to the fundamentals of your program. And today, we're going to speak specifically about curriculum and methodology. I thought it was a great quote from Michael Jordan. And so we talk about the best conditions for learning. I've kind of alluded to it already. But now we're starting to get a little bit into our philosophy of player development. And the first thing that we need to speak about when we talk about this subject is the leadership, right? So within any program... This is the person or group of people that are responsible for setting forth the vision, the philosophy, what the mandate is going to be, and making sure that that's clear for everyone uh, within the organization or the club. Once we have the leadership in place, now it's about the, the coaches. And I'm going to use the word teachers when I refer to coaches, because these are the people that are responsible for executing the vision, right? Our, our players are going to have the most contact with our coaches, and it's going to be up to them to deliver the content, the information. And obviously, curriculum and methodology are, are very much tied to that. And now we can talk about creating the environment. And really for us, it's about creating the, the best environment for learning. 
And when we talk about curriculum and methodology, obviously it's tied to the environment that the players are in on a daily basis and the information that they're receiving and the amount of learning that is taking place, right? That is tied to the environment. Once we have that, now we can start talking about influencing the behaviors of our players and even their habits um, in terms of longer term pro projection. Um, but it, it, we're not in the business here of trying to change people's personalities, right? What we're after is influencing the behaviors and the habits of our players that are consistent with a high performance environment. And obviously for our purposes, meeting the mandate of transitioning players to the professional game. And when all of these things are in place, now we can talk about true player development, right? But this is the structure that we speak about when we talk about the best conditions for learning. And I'll speak a little bit about how we implement our curriculum and our methodology in this framework. And so a little bit more about the environment that we tried to create. You see the two images that are on the screen here. And I'll, I'll qualify this uh, for everyone on the call. So when we talk about equality in the true sense, um, you know, no injustice, uh, an environment that is free from any type of harassment, um, racism, this, this type of stuff, clearly that exists, right, in our environment. We create a safe environment where there's respect for everyone. But when we're talking about it from the soccer perspective, um, we're not looking to create uh, an environment that is based on equality. It's more based on equity, right? And there's a distinction that needs to be made between these two things. So when we talk about equity, we talk about giving players what they need in order to be successful. And so you can see the image on the right here, which is much different than the one on the left, is on the left, we're treating everyone the same, right? And if we were to do this in the academy in terms of our curriculum and how we approach things, uh, it would be the wrong approach because obviously individuals are different and they have different needs as players. We strive for an environment of equity, right? Which means now everyone is getting what they need and the focus is really on the individual player. We're not in the business of promoting teams forward, right? Our, our mandate obviously is to get players forward through our pathway and into our first team environment. And we need to be able to understand what the nuances are for each player at any given time in terms of their stage of development. So it's about creating this environment of equity. Thank you for watching this short preview video from the National Soccer Coaches Association of Canada. To see the full video, plus have access to hundreds of other coaching videos, blogs, webinars, and podcasts, plus free and discounted coach education courses and other soccer merchandise, plus to have exclusive access to register for all future NSCAC conventions, both live and online, click on the link below to become a member of the NSCAC today. Also, please remember to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel as your continued support allows us to continue to provide coach education and coach development resources to soccer coaches across Canada and worldwide. Thank you again for your continued support and we look forward to seeing you at future NSCAC events.